Hey everybody, All afternoon. Right. I'm Chris, uh, executive producer of the animated series. If we haven't met, uh, this is Andrew. Hello, I'm Andrew. If we haven't met, Andrew, you know we've had a lot of folks talk about uh, what kind of journey they're being invited into, and you and I have talked a lot about this. Tell them about what kind of story they're being invited into here with Wing Feather Saga. You start in this place where things are kind of safe, and uh, and the characters, have, their their world is relatively small and then something happens that sets them off on this huge journey. The, the stakes were gonna continually get to get higher, things were gonna go sideways, characters were gonna make decisions that we weren't super excited about. And I think that that's one of the things that I think makes this as a TV show stand out, is that yes, it's animated, um, yes, it's for families, but it's also, it's intense. In that, you know, we talk about in the world, uh, there are all these creatures, and Janner, our lead character in, in, in our telling in the series particularly, his favorite book is this book that's an artifact. We actually have the real version in the real world here of Pembroke's Creaturepedia. Now, Andrew, do you know how this book came to be? <laughs> so I have three kids, as some of you know, um, Aiden, Asher, and Sky. My son Asher who is <laughs> truly one of the funniest people that I've ever met. One day, he was like eight years old, and without any explanation, he'd never done this before, he just sent me an email, and the subject line was poop list. Eight-year-old Asher had written this long list of hilarious words, like Johannical and Kekel and uh, Squeeblin. So I thought they were so <laughs> funny. I never understood really why he sent me these words. He was just bored one day. But I put them all in a, in a document, and whenever I needed a word for something, I just went to the poop list, and I would grab one of those words. So that's where some of the names in the, in the Wing Feather Saga came from. Yeah. And around the same time, Aiden, my, my other son, who was 10 or 12, I guess, maybe, maybe a little older, he started sending me drawings. And so I was thinking, oh, I'm going to illustrate Pembroke's Creaturepedia. And by that time, Aiden was 15 or 16 years old, and he had far surpassed my artistic abilities. And so I just said, hey, you want to illustrate this thing? And he did. So that's the story of how Pembroke's Creaturepedia came to be. Today, we're super excited to uh, welcome a special guest today that knows a fair amount about Creaturepedia. Uh, he's a brilliant illustrator uh, who's worked on a number of really great uh, books uh, and is also working on Wing Feather Saga animated series. Everybody, please welcome Aiden Peterson. Hello, Aiden. Hey, happy to be here. So I got to ask right away, have you met Alistair Pembroke? I mean, the kids want to know. I basically ghost illustrated for him. He took all the credit. Oh my but gosh. I'm... Oh my gosh. Yeah. Can you believe it? Uh, <laughs> so you've had to draw some of these creatures. Uh, I'm curious. I want to see this bumpy dig toad. We've got a bumpy dig toad that Andrew, that I think you said you illustrated first. And then we have Aiden's version. This was fascinating to try to figure out what the heck was going on an anatomy wise. Thinking about it in the, like the show, who knows where the, the bones are, and it is so made up and so wonderful and weird. As I'm drawing them, I'm like, what is going on? I, it's kind of <laughs> it makes me laugh, and also <laughs> it does not translate well to animation sometimes. But you make it work. What was the most challenging one to get? Did you had to redraw the most? Yeah, the the rock roach from the stories is something that is really scary in the descriptions just <laughs> really haunting to me like i remember like visualizing it from from the books when i first heard it so trying to make that into an illustration that doesn't take away from the scariness or the creepiness that was probably the the one of the more challenging ones in the in the story so my next question is in that same space what creature then is your favorite to draw which is the one that was like oh that was it just you were so excited I've always just loved birds and animals and finding any books at the library that are in that same vein. So all the birds in the book were a blast to draw. You don't actually have to do that much work to make creatures absurd and wonderful and like there's stuff in the real world that is like very equivalent to the level of magic of the creatures of Wingfeather. The most famous creature obviously in Creaturepedia, the one that everybody talks about, we've even got a shirt. Uh, with one, oh, I've got it right here, uh, is, of course, the infamous Toothy Cow. So there it is. Beware the Toothy Cows, folks. So this well, is uh, Pops's. Yeah. yeah, this is me. They're all pretty terrifying. 
and then that matured into the one for the animated series. Which Andrew, we've had some people react like, "Wait, why does it look like a Chick Fil A cow?" Uh, that was always your intention, <laughs> right? Whenever we went to visit my grandma in South Florida, it was in this old dairy farm, and they had Holstein cows, which are those Chick Fil A cows. I would watch the thing just like put a whole grapefruit or orange in its mouth and just smash it. And it would, you know, there would be this gush of <laughs> of juice that would come out of the thing. And I was just like, cows are terrifying. Now, one of the creatures that I believe, if I understand your story, that would have been named perhaps by Asher is, of course, a squeeblin. <laughs> it looks cute, <laughs> but it's not cute, man. I have like a pretty detailed anatomy. Yes, version of this where like I have like the bone structure <laughs> underneath all the the fur. It's got those huge eyes, so it just seems even more innocent. So insolent. Oh man, <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a liar. <laughs> it's been fun to draw all these creatures. You know more about these creatures than any person walking the planet Earth. At this point. <laughs> <laughs> you can own that corner. Seriously, That's like right. more than I do. You know the bone structures. I don't. <laughs> Aiden, good to see you, man. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, get back Thank to work. Thank you so much for having me.